boys welcome to the new video on this channel today we are replaying career of Bojan Krkic if you are a bit older you know Bojan played back in 2010 in Barcelona he was one of the biggest wonder kids back then but his anxiety depression came up to him and he fell down from grace now he is playing in Japan for Whistle Kobe but we will go back in time when he was 19 and try to replay his career in team he is center forward and sorry Lewandowski also sorry Depay but you both are off because Boyan must have playtime okay so this is team because world cup is currently in process uh, most players are not available for preseason tournament but Boyan unfortunately is he's not playing world cup and he is our first uh, center forward here in team so uh, let's check uh, development plans i think we should go with upgrading his weak foot because if he can shoot with both of his foot he can score even more goals so we will go with playmaker forward and improve our weak foot okay boys first season is over it's 2023 june let's see how we did it we finished second place 88 points and real madrid won the league with 93 points top scorer of the league is is uh, Vinicius Junior. Let's see, can we find Bowen here? Uh, yes, Bowen is on 12th place with uh, 13 goals scored in 38 games. Okay, Bowen he had a really, really great season 60 appearances, 21 goals, and 32 assists. Imagine center forward uh, getting 32 assists in single season. Okay, let's take a look how we did it in Super Copa and uh, we lost against Real Madrid. Copa del Rey, we won against Real Madrid, so that's the uh, first trophy of Boyan. let's see how we did it in UEFA Champions League uh, we are not in final for sure we dropped off to Europa League let's see we won Europa League luckily okay in off season Boyan growth up by one overall he is now 85 as you can see and uh, he is improving really really fast also couple players are back from loan like Coutinho and Griezmann. Griezmann is uh, just low rated and Boran Krkic and I think he will not play over him. So boys, I decided we need to stay one more season in Barcelona and see can we win even La Liga in this one. This season development plan will be Penetrator and we will look up for upgrading our skill moves from 4 star to 5 star because weak foot really paid off. Okay, for this season we are in Champions League group with Juventus, Sporting and Michelin. I think this one will be easy and we will go through really, really quick. Season is finally over, it's June, let's take a look. We won the league, fortunately, 8 points more than the Real Madrid this season. We lost the Supercopa in semi-finals against the Athletic Club. Copa del Rey will be lost against the Mallorca. Let's take a look to Champions League. We lost where? Round of 16 against Arsenal and we are moving in next season 100%. Boyan again had a decent season, 53 appearances, 21 goals, 27 assists, plus 2 overall and he is now 22 years of age, so I think it's time to move to another club. Ok, it's new season, let's see which club wants us. First offer was from Juventus and it automatically accepted, I'm not sure why is that. Second is Real Madrid once again and again we are rejecting Real Madrid, we don't want to go to rival club. Manchester United agreed to pay 190 million release clause for Boyan, so Boyan is now negotiating with Manchester United on personal terms. Boyan has rejected move to Manchester United because they couldn't reach agreement on terms and I think that's because wage on Boyan is really really too low so we will go and increase it immediately. No actually his wage is $200,000 so we will just go and wait for another offers. Boys because we have one rule we can do trade and move to club whatever we basically want once in every replay of any player career and now we choose the Manchester City. There is also Erling Haaland who is one overall better than us and oh my god look at his face. I mean just ignore this one but 
I think Boyan will grow really significantly in this season, so I will go and uh, put him another development plan. But Boyan is still younger in our world than Erling Haaland, so yes, he will upgrade his stats even more so let's choose which development plan we will use and i think about the playmaker forward to upgrade our passing and stamina a little bit okay by the way i just changed formation to 424 because we want boyan and holland to play together so yeah this is how squad is looking like and I think Marez is a little bit too old, so we have 160 million to make improvement on right winger. And I think Anthony is right player for that role, 85 million would maybe do the deal, yes, it's a reasonable offer, of course, now let's go negotiate about the wages. Crucial squad role, of course, uh, why he want to be sporadic, we will go with important and uh, let's go with contract length five years of course we will accept that no release clause as always wage is wow just wow and we must accept that if we want to make change in manchester city so anthony welcome this is how we will play this season let's see can we make any new improvement here in manchester city and maybe win some trophies okay boys season is over we finished the fourth with 66 points a bit disappointed but it's all right liverpool won the league with 84 points let's uh, take a look at community shield and uh, it's a uh, 2-2 and i'm not sure who actually won here okay fa cup is a uh, chelsea Carabao Cup is also Chelsea. Chelsea is really, really good this season. Let's check UEFA Champions League. And we are playing final. And finally, I think it's our first season in Manchester City. And we are actually instantly in UEFA Champions League final. Before the final, let's go and check how our player did it. Okay, one scored 20 goals and 19 assists in 53 appearances got up by plus two overall and i think his biggest overall in our club no it's erling Haaland with that weird face and we are second one okay back to fa champions league it's against paris saint germain and they have a zaha on left winger instead of neymar and that's a bit weird but it's all right and let's go quick sim auto replace please be win no we lost two goals and for us we scored and de bruyne i mean how did we lose if we had 17 possession and seven shots okay it's 2026 it's another year here in manchester city so basically we will not make any change and we will just simulate through the season but before that only thing i will going to change is his development plan because we need him to improve really really good and uh, let's see which can we choose uh, we will go with bombardier in this season and uh, basically improve his shooting and pace okay another year in manchester city is over let's see did we won the league yes so finally premier league trophy is in manchester city trophies room let's check fa cup and uh, it will be chelsea as last year carabao cup it will be manchester city another trophy for us let's check uefa champions league we are not in final we won the group okay round of 16 we won against uh, bayern munich paris saint germain kicked us out in quarterfinals and they lost against uh, borussia dortmund in final and uh, please guys take a look at Bojan krkic he is plus three overall in this season 90 six rated and i think right now he is uh, the best rated yes he is erling Haaland is still 94 please ignore that face i mean it's incredibly funny but Boyan is a 96 and i think this guy really deserves to be captain in manchester city so the bruyne sorry but Boyan must be manchester city captain we scored most goals in this season 28 goals 28 assists in 59 appearances and let's take a look who is a top scorer in the league and it will be 
B, Broya, we are second one and Broya from Chelsea won Golden Boot. By the way guys, I think uh, Kylian Mbappe won Ballon d'Or back in uh, December, but it's alright, we will for sure get next one. Okay, currently we are in another season and I think we must aim to win Champions League in this season because if we did not win Champions League in this season, we must move on somewhere else. Also, I go and quick take a look at financial and see uh, how our contracts and okay only once uh, so we leave the club but other players are still fine okay boys it's uh, december and luckily we won player of the year as you can see it's boyan krikic double crown for us in the premier league we won fa community shield against uh, chelsea as always let's take a look at emirates fa cup and liverpool beat southampton here carabao cup will be liverpool as well we won the group at the uh, champions league uh, we got through round of 16 against uh, napoli and Inter won against us. I mean, it's incredibly, incredible shame for Manchester City. And in final, it's Inter who won UEFA Champions League. Erling Haaland scored the most goals in our team, 24 goals and 1 assist in 55 appearances. Second one is Boyan, 19 goals and 24 assists in this season. Unbelievably, he went up plus 197 rated right now, 55 appearances for Boyan. Okay, it's new season officially and uh, sorry Manchester City, but uh, we are on transfer list and we will wait for offers and I hope in the next season we will win Champions League in the first time in this replay. Also, if you don't know, this year is, I think, 2028, yes, and this is UEFA Euros, uh, yes, it is. Uh, if you know, Bojan Krikic is from Serbia, but he is born in Spain and he will play for Spain national team and uh, they are playing against uh, Italy in quarterfinals. Unfortunately, Italy won over Spain in semifinals. It's France won over Germany, Italy 4-0 against the Netherlands and France is Euro winners. Okay, it's FA Community Shield and it's late July and we still did not have any offer for Bojan Krkic but we will go and simulate this one and I think this one will be win. It will who scored goals Sergio Gomez. I don't even know that guy but it's alright. Win is win and I think this will not be counted as trophy but it's alright anyway. Okay, now we will try and go approach uh, Paris Saint-Germain to buy Kylian Mbappé in swap deal and I think Paris Saint-Germain is writing for Bojan Krikic to be transferred and I think they will probably accept that and yes, if they did not, they are just really, really dumb. Honestly, I'm not a fan of doing transfers like this, but when we are 97 rated, there are not much teams that have that kind of money, it's around 200 million pounds and we need to do player swap and uh, right now we are choosing Paris Saint-Germain and maybe we will go and win some trophies in this one. We are still aiming for that UEFA Champions League trophy. Okay, and this is how Paris Saint-Germain's squad is uh, looking like. Left winger is some guy named Tell and uh, I think this is a bit disappointing. We need a new left winger and maybe new center midfielder Kim Pembe will do I hope a job at center back. So let's aim for new left winger here. I had thought to bring Neymar Jr. back in Paris Saint-Germain but he is 36 years old now and he is playing for Santos somehow. Okay player I want to bring in club is Cody Gakpo, 60 million dollars for him, it's a reasonable offer of course and now it's just personal terms. Honestly I think with Cody Gakpo we will be able to finish at least in the final of UEFA Champions League and if we did not I will just go back in Manchester City I swear. Okay uh, we brought uh, new left winger Cody Gakpo from Ajax I think and yeah this whole squad is looking like and Boyan is 99 rated I mean in period when we transferred ourselves from Manchester City to Paris Saint-Germain he grew up by two I think and that's really really awesome by right we have still Messi and he is like 41 years of age this guy will die on the pitch but left we have Cody Gakpo our midfield is a bit shaky and sloppy to be honest but we have a decent substitutes 
and let's see how we will do in our first season here in Paris Saint Germain. Okay, we went on it to look at League One Uber Eats. We are winner. Trophy champ is going to Paris Saint Germain. Coupe de France is between Nice and Stade Rennes. It's all right. Let's take a look at UEFA Champions League, and we are here against Inter Milan once again. I think. Uh, Inter was a multiple years Champions League finalist, but we will go and immediately check will we win that game. But before game, there is one thing I want to check and I see Boyan is injured and he scored 16 goals in 36 games. Uh, I think his overall went down because he was injured and someone else played over him and it's a Vitinha he's injured for most of the season and he will not play UEFA Champions League final unfortunately he got a broken ankle and he will be 100% fit in four weeks unfortunately so here we are and please be win only this time we lost on penalties so once again I mean Boan is just cursed to win this finale I think we we only lost because Bojan was not playing but here is another season and I think it will be a last one where we will try to win UEFA Champions League with Bojan. Okay, it's a new season, we will not change uh, literally anything in this club and let's go through simulation and maybe and for God's sake win that Champions League. Season is over and we of course won the league. We lost in a trophy championship uh, against a Rennes. We are playing final against Marseille in Coupe de France. We are finally again in final of UEFA Champions League and God please give us a win. Before we get into the game, let's check stats. Boyan 27-21 plus 1 overall back to 99 overall. 27 years of age. I mean, he is just really dominating. Okay, and here we are. We lost Messi. We have hole in center midfield, so let's see which player can replace another. Okay, right, we will play Gerhabri. At center midfield, we will play Renato Sanchez. And uh, center back and everything else will do the same. So, please be win. Finally, please give us a win. And we lost on penalties. Third loss in finale. Anyway, that's all for this episode if you enjoyed leave subscribe hit that like button and till the next episode see you and be safe